So if you're working inside a law firm and trying to develop your personal brand and start to develop a client base of your own, do you know how to do it? If not, this is going to be the show for you. Welcome to the Josh Gerben Show, because law school didn't teach business. Hi, everybody. I'm Josh Gerben, and welcome to episode 20 of the Josh Gerben Show. This is going to be a fantastic episode. We got a question from a viewer, and I think it's a great one. And it's, if you're an associate working in a law firm, what should you be doing to build your personal brand and trying to build a book of business? as your career is getting underway. And this could even apply to you if you're a partner working in a law firm and do not have your own book of business or personal brand at this stage. So the basic premise of this whole episode is you do not have to own a law firm to have a personal brand in the legal space. You can be an associate all the way up to a partner and have a very unique personal brand and still work at a much larger law firm. So there are really two steps that you should be taking to develop a personal brand that will ultimately bring in business for you. The first is identifying a unique or niche area of practice that you can deliver services on. And the second is building content around that niche or unique area of practice that not only goes internally to your own firm, but then externally to the rest of the world. So let's start breaking that down. The first is you have to have a unique or niche area of practice. We are no longer living in a day and age where you're a generalist attorney. You are good at one thing. I am a trademark attorney. I am really good at trademarks. I am not good at anything else, and I know that. So I want to be everybody's trademark guy. And the way I have done that is by first identifying that I'm going to be really good at trademarks, right? And so you have to decide what are you going to be really good at. Now, if you take a general area of law, like employment law, you may not be good at everything in employment law. You may have to find the niche of the niche. And that really may be where you start. So you need to think about what area of law can you provide really helpful and detailed knowledge on? What do you know like the back of your hand that not many people know? Or what can you learn about that not many people know? And once you figure out what this area is going to be, the next step here in developing this niche practice is having a flat rate service or services that you can deliver. I talk a lot about flat rates in other episodes because I think they are so effective in being able to sell legal work and also can be extremely profitable if you price them the right way. So let's say you can develop a particular service that you can offer for three, four, five thousand dollars and I don't know what it, let's just say it's an employment law, right? Let's say you, you can develop an employee handbook for somebody and then you can do quarterly training for executives on how to hire and fire employees. And maybe for the entire year, there's a flat rate for that program. And every business client your firm has, you can now pitch that program to because it's going to increase the chances they're not going to get sued for some sort of employment issue. And that's just one example. But think of anything you can do in your niche area Right? If I'm a trademark attorney, what I might do is a, yeah, I can offer a complimentary trademark audit and then for a flat fee, offer trademark filings or maintenance on trademark portfolios on a yearly basis or monitoring of trademark portfolios. Right? I can come up with all these different types of services that if my partners and other associates in the firm know I can do really well, when they're talking to a client, they can say, you know what, I see you have an issue with this trademark or I see we don't have a lot here for you as far as an employee handbook or instructions on how to handle employee situations. We have someone really good here that can walk you through that and it's a flat rate thing and you know, it's not that expensive and bingo, right? So you need to really develop not only what is my niche going to be, but then what are the services I can deliver at a flat rate that other people in my firm can easily market for me and I can market, you know, and get the ball rolling on really being the go-to person for something. All right, so now once you've established this and, and you've kind of come up with what you're going to do and what your flat rates are going to be around it, you need to start to develop content. And content really has a couple of different stages. The first stage is writing because that's going to be the easiest in all likelihood for any lawyer. There's really no, you don't need a camera, you don't need a microphone, you just need a computer. So start writing. You need to start writing about your general area of practice, about the services you can deliver, even about news around your area of practice, right? Something that's happened, something that people can relate to, and start putting out blog posts. Hopefully your firm has a blog. If it doesn't, you're going to need to be the driving force behind getting one going. 
And if your firm doesn't like the idea of doing a blog, you're probably not at a very good firm where you're going to be able to develop your personal brand. So if they don't have a blog, you got to get one going. If they do have a blog, you need to say, hey, look, we've got this blog and I'd like to start writing for it on a regular basis. Maybe you even get a unique section of the blog or your own even standalone blog from, for, the, for the firm that goes over you know, your particular niche so you can basically build content into it and you really need to have fresh content every week. Now, what I would do is I start to write. I would start to circulate that internally because I want everybody else in the firm to think of me as the go-to guy or gal for something, right? You need to be the go-to person internally first because if, if your own firm doesn't believe in you, nobody else is going to. So once you have everybody at your firm drinking the Kool-Aid that you are the person for this and you've got a great service you're delivering and clients are happy with it, they see the clients are buying into it, getting the service, being happy with it, now you're starting to get some momentum. What I would suggest then is part two of the content, which is that you really need to look into doing video Okay, like this, you need to go to a videographer and you need to start recording videos about what you can do and uh, you know, about the general area of practice that you're, you're operating in. Or you even need to, like we did, we built this studio in our office. Uh, that might take a little bit more convincing of management, but other attorneys can use it to crank out content then as well. And I think you'd find that management might even be uh, very open to it if, if you explain, you know, you research the cost and find out that they're not overly expensive. Probably long run cheaper than hiring a videographer every time you want to record a video. So you get videos going, you get your podcast going. Now this is where it's it's hard for me in a, in a video like this to show you like, hey, this is what you're gonna do with all this content. But you need to get really active on LinkedIn. Okay, there's ways to post articles, videos, podcasts on LinkedIn. Um, you need to start pushing your content out there in different forms of advertising. Um, you can advertise on LinkedIn. You can advertise on YouTube. Uh, Pre-roll videos are very popular these days. And you need to ensure your firm has a good search engine optimization campaign so your content that you're producing shows up when people are searching online for things. And I can go over all that in another video, but think about you know, when you're developing content, you've got the written word, you've got the spoken word in podcast, and then you've got videos, which is kind of the holy grail these days and the most difficult to do. But if you do video well and you distribute it well, now all of a sudden you're going to get a lot of people in the outside world seeing you and hopefully calling you for your services. Now you may say, Josh, this all sounds great, but this is going to be super time consuming. And that's true. But listen to me. There are very few people out there that are going to take the time to do all of this because you can't do this in your nine to five or your eight to six job as an attorney. Okay. You're going to spend 10 hours a day, 11, 12 hours a day billing time for your firm. And all this that I'm talking about is going to be done on the nights and weekends because the firm's not going to want you to take half your day to do this. And it's going to take several hours a day until you get really good at it and can do it a little quicker. But I can tell you that very few associates are ever going to take the time to try to build their own personal brand. And you're going to stand out at a law firm if you do that. I have built a studio in our office, I have a blog that ranks really well, and I cannot get our attorneys to write regularly, do a video regularly, think about a podcast. They're so wrapped up in their day-to-day -day work, and look, I know they're busy, right? I know they're busy, but if they really wanted to go out there and build a personal brand, nights and weekends would be devoted to doing that. And building a personal brand does bring value to the firm you're working at, but where it really does is brings value to you long-term. Because if anything ever happens and you leave that firm, that personal brand goes with you. They can't keep it. And I tell my attorneys this because I say, look, if you use the platforms that we have and you use the technology we have to try to build your personal brand, I will invest in you because I believe that's good for the firm, but I also believe it's good for you. And I hope it would help you long term if anything would ever happen, you wouldn't be here. Because I think investing in folks that are working at our firm is, is the most important thing we should do. And I think any firm you're at should feel the same way. And if they don't, you need to really think about the quality of management at your firm. But I also could tell you if you've got good management and you start doing this and you start really pounding the pavement to put this content together and you start really hustling to get everything going and you start actually generating work, you are going to be a standout star and your career is going to advance so much faster than anybody around you who's going home at the end of the night and just checking out, checking out on the weekends and going wherever, doing whatever they're doing. If you really want to get ahead and you really want to make a difference in your career, this is how you're going to do it. For what it's worth, it's how I did it in mine. 
I started my own law practice 12 years ago, and it has been a 24-7 job ever since. And I'm not saying that's for everybody, but I have a lot of fun doing it. I go to sleep at night thinking about what content we're going to do next. I wake up in the morning thinking about what's the first step of the day got to be for business. And, you know, if you're going to do this, you've got to be all in. And you're going to miss things. You're going to miss trips. You're going to miss social events with friends. You're not going to be able to be out drinking until 2 a.m. because you need to get your butt up on Saturday morning early to do content. All right? This is just what it's going to be. And you got to decide whether you're going to commit to it or not. So I hope you found all this helpful, and I think it's an incredible opportunity and an incredible age we live in that if you want to take advantage and build a personal brand and advance your legal career and start being your own rainmaker, you're going to give yourself incredible job security and an incredible career. If you have any further questions, you can always reach out to me on social media. I'm happy to answer any questions in a future video. We're on LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram. You can email me. My email address is just josh at joshgerbin.com. And if you're watching this on YouTube, please hit the subscribe button. Uh, you'll be notified of any future episodes when they come out. And on Apple, if you're on iTunes, please leave a review or rating. Really helpful for us to get some visibility in the iTunes world. And of course, uh, subscribe so you can get any future episodes that come out. Thank you again, and I'll talk to you next time.